Good morning, welcome back to Big Board. It's Kev here. Uh, let's have a look at Stalingrad 42 and opening moves, combat, stuff like that. Uh, and in case you're wondering, Stalingrad 42 is Mark Simonich game. It uses the Zoc Bond system and, uh, well, sorry for those that don't like the word Zoc, uh, Zone of Control system, Zone of Control Bond system, uh, GMT games. So kind of excited to get started on this. Already recorded one video discussing the potential attacks that we can make. And then as I was uh, thinking about it and actually getting to execute some of these attacks, I went back and, and looked at the rules again because I recalled in prior games that these red uh, markings here, the fortifications, negate the um, tank shifts and uh, things of that nature. And what's interesting here is this unit, let me see if we can get that, there we go, this unit here, uh, that red dot gives it two shifts because it's an elite tank. If it's fighting against uh, another tank or an AT uh, unit, as the case may be, one of these guys, for instance, it would negate one of them in open terrain or whatever the case may be. And so it would just get one tank shift, uh, basically an elite shift. Uh, so <clears throat> that changes the math here fairly substantially and we need to rethink some of the attacks. So I've already started moving some units and we're going to sort of press ahead with the attacks anyway. But one of the big things is, you know, this red, uh, this red bar here is going to negate all tank shifts uh, for the Germans, which is going to make this a relatively tricky and bloody little exercise. We're not going to resolve all those today. What we are going to do is just look, oh, well, we are, we'll do them today, but just not on this video. We're going to look at some of these attacks that we can make. So things were kind of set up. This guy was over here for uh, an attack to occur here, an attack to occur here. We moved, uh, I think we moved this chappy forward one. And there's, there was potential for an attack here, but we're not going to do that. Uh, it's too, too risky, too, uh, uh, too high a chance of losing a step. And so we'll put some air on uh, one of these, uh, one of those attacks over there. We'll use the air unit. And we'll also use this offensive prep uh, marker, which allows me to add a die to the combat result. And, and by that, I mean, I roll two dice instead of one, and I take the, the, the result that I prefer. Uh, there are also some other, some DRMs that are available to us. Inexperienced units will take a, a minus one. Uh, the lead elite unit it will give us a plus one if we're looking to be adventurous. And uh, there's also a minus one if there's uh, if the CRT result is highlighted in orange, uh, that's or then I think that's going to be for determined defense, but we'll, we'll check that out. I haven't looked at that just yet, that, that section of the rules. So, which brings us to this sort of section of the map here. This is going to be uh, Sixth Army's activity area. And there are some nice attacks that we can conduct here. And it's going to change the odds to our benefit a little bit here because it's uh, two shifts, it'll be one, one for the armor and then one for the fact that the unit's elite. Uh, but we'll drop back one because these guys have uh, armor, so that'll negate uh, the armor, but not the, the eliteness. Uh, so that might make us want to perhaps use air potentially here or maybe here. Uh, we're certainly going to use the offensive prep uh, marker and we have the choice of uh, layering in some artillery as well. We can move that guy up to two hexes. So I might, uh, well, he's in range anyway, because he's got a range of five. So we're going to decide whether we want to use this hex or that hex to support that. So both of these attacks will still probably go in at four to one. I did um, also in my prior video, I, I realized that, you know, I couldn't enter this hex to make the surrounding of this unit a little better or the flanking of it a little better because there's a Zoc bond here. Uh, two streams will break a Zoc bond. Uh, for instance, from here to here, there is no Zoc bond. So that's actually an opportunity to attack. If I wanted to, I could go to here and, and work out how to do an attack because there's no Zoc bond there. Uh, but everywhere else that, you know, here there is. So we've only got these two hexes to attack into. Same here, uh, Zoc bonds, etc., and adjacency. So we, we've got an attack going in here. This guy here, two to one, maybe a three to one if we use air. 
now given that the mix of uh, results has changed a little bit we need to be a little bit more careful i think i moved that guy um we need to be a little bit more careful with where we place our air and which hqs are going to be activated etc so i'm going to re-swizzle where this air goes and we may not do this attack this might be uh whoa that was lucky i nearly dropped my tweezers oh, wow i guess it's one of those days today there we go. Let's just calm down a little bit there. And I think that was all the attacks we were going to do. We're just going to, we're going to avoid uh, doing much down here. There's not a lot of good opportunities. Hoping that uh, aggressive attacks up here will force a general retreat. We'll see what happens. But I thought I'd just give you a quick look at some of the attacks that are going in. Uh, remembering that, you know, some of these base odds here are, are you know, for instance, this is seven factors here. I've got 30 some factors here. No point in having more than 40 because anything over 40 is ignored and no point having more than 20 in a hex because anything over 20 is ignored uh, for, for this particular module. So big opportunity here to try and uh, sort of make a bit of a hinge here, but we do have a secondary line to, to deal with. Hopefully some breakthrough attacks might be uh, in the offing if we get uh, significant enough odds here to to make a, a real difference. All right, thought I'd check in with you on that. I'm gonna go start rolling some dice. Talk to you soon.